Hi there. Let's do a little time travel with food. And we're not just talking about the Mediterranean, because we talk about that a lot, but about the whole world. The whole world has used clay to hold things in and to cook things in, and as pretty things just to paint and look at for thousands of years. How many thousands? I don't think anybody really knows, actually, but I'm pretty sure they've localized it. They found clay, pieces, shards, dating back to about 30,000 years. That's a while. And so the part about cooking and holding things, um, that's especially important. You know, you can cup water in your hand and carry it to your home or cave or whatever if you're a Paleolithic man. Um, but if you form clay into a vessel, you can carry volumes of water. And water is a prime example, but soon, you know, there were grapes and olives and specialty liquids because with the grape juice, you could make wine and olive oil had many, many, many uses. And not only that, but it's easy to throw a piece of meat into a fire, cook it, and then basically brush the dirt and ash off of it and eat it, and you will stay alive like that. And it'll probably taste a heck of a lot better than if you just cut it out of your fresh kill and eat it like that. But ancient humans, well, they discovered clay and not iron, bronze, copper, or lead. That all came later, but clay was the easiest thing to process into a hardened surface and to be able to mold it into shapes and surfaces that you could cook in or on. That happens very, very early. And here's another thing. Cookbooks have been written for a very long time. The Romans had them. Well, and cookbooks usually just talk about the ingredients and how to mix them and arrive at a certain flavor or tenderness or product. But they miss one very, very important vital point, And that is think of the recipe as the software and think of the vessel or the pot or the pan as the hardware. And really, the other important thing is the material. So, so important. Now, for thousands of years, we have been cooking in clay. And along the Mediterranean, they never really left it. Now, why all the metal? Well, there are trends. You know, there is caphalon and all clad and Teflon and copper infused and a million types of coatings. But you know what? They are all based in metal. And pretty much since the time of the Industrial Revolution, metal has been the way to go. It's a conductor, so it's fast. Clay is an insulator, and that's what we're talking about because we're going to develop some flavors with that. We'll be talking about the properties of clay cookware. So why don't you just join us? Because the flavors are incredible. Let's talk about the properties of clay cookware, and particularly the clay cookware that's handmade in Spain. You know, Spain never, ever left clay. About 90% of everything cooked in Spain is cooked in clay, on clay, and the flavors are incredible. But you know, if we talk about clay, one thing is for sure, we have to talk about metal first. And when we talk about metal, we'll have to talk about caphalon and all clad and Teflon coatings and copper infused and nonstick and coatings, coatings, and coatings. You know, first out of the gate was Teflon and then a million more, and that was great marketing. What do they all have in common, though, is that they are all conductors of heat. 
clay is earth. You know, clay is very, very fine earth. There's some moisture, there's some trace elements in there, but we all know clay. And earth insulates and it slows down and it resists heat. So why would we want to cook in clay? Because the heat does penetrate the clay in an even and very special way. Think of all metal as coming in one door and out the other very quickly. Clay slows down the heat, so the heat arrives, pays a visit, is like an old friend who's slow to leave. And this heat is a softer heat. It's even and it's balanced and it cooks things very, very evenly. And it not only preserves nutrition, but it creates complex flavors. And when this food is long eaten and gone, it is remembered as being special. Make your meal special. Start cooking in clay. Let's talk about clay pot cooking and nutrition. First of all, Spanish clay is an excellent, safe, and totally inert cooking material. Spain is part of the EU, and the EU has literally got the strictest rules and regulations in the world regarding the use of lead or heavy metals in clay or glazes. So you can rest assured that when you're using a Spanish clay cooking vessel, it is going to be completely safe and probably even add a little bit of its own nutrition in minerals to the food that you're cooking. So that's all good. Nutrition and flavors have a lot to do with each other. When you cook, flavor leaves the food in the form of steam. And that steam is a reduction of flavor. So your house smells wonderful, but your ceilings and walls are getting the nutrition. Now if you want to keep that in, clay is a wonderful medium for doing that. Let's just take a tagine for instance. A tagine is that cazuela with the conical lid on it. It has a little pinhole to let a little bit of steam, but see what happens is that the steam is the reduced flavor, so it's super flavor, and that little hole creates movement of the steam within the cone and because the cone is cooler than the rest of the vessel it will condense and it will go back on and into the food and it is not just surface deep you know when you do a rub or a barbecue sauce or something you know there's plenty of flavor there but it really is only surface deep this truly truly penetrates whatever it is that you're cooking and the volatiles that you add can be anything from garlic to onions to carrots to um, you know your herbs and spices and your bouquets that you put in there uh, it can even be a fruit it can be apple or tropical fruit all of those different flavors and foods that you put in including all of the spices as well will create flavor complexities that will surprise and delight you at the same time so when you cook, you want to attain the best possible flavor in the food you're cooking. And the food itself and the flavor depends on the time, the temperature, and all those additional ingredients, the volatiles, the flavorful reduced liquids. So now you'll either cook the flavor and the nutrition out of the food or you'll achieve that wonderful synergy where ingredients, time, and temperature adds up to more than just the sum of its parts. We can all achieve this accidentally, right? Every now and again. But then we blow it. However, the mark of a real, really competent kitchen chef is when you can do that recipe and achieve that synergy again and again. Clay and cooking in clay vessels is a way that you'll achieve not only spectacular flavor, but all the nutrients that we all need. And we lead busy, busy lives. So there's really a paradox here. Clay cooking 
it might take a little bit more time because remember it's an insulator so it takes a little bit more time to get that heat coming through the clay but the paradox is this we lead super busy lives we need all the nutrition the best edge that we can possibly have and the fact of the matter is when you cook in clay you get not only the enjoyment of the flavor but you also get all of the nutrition so I say Let's cook in clay. Why don't you join us? Don't be afraid to cook with clay. Cooks have used clay for centuries and centuries, time immemorial. And clay can handle the heat. Kilns go up to 2,000 degrees. Just remember, start slow, bring the heat up slow. Put it on top of the stove, start it at low, and in three to five minutes, you can bring it right up to a higher temperature. Same thing for the oven. Put it into the oven, and now start it in a cold oven and bring it right up to the temperature that you need it to be. And you'll develop those flavors like nothing you have ever tasted before. Don't be afraid of clay. Go on our website and check out the specials. We change them all the time, so there's always a great deal or a giveaway. If you've decided that you want to start cooking in clay, it's never too late to start. In fact, you can start today. Go to the website and see what we've got cooking. Thank you.